Today we're going to make this apple core craft using popsicle sticks. Now here's my little apple craft. On this one I used red. Today I'm actually going to show you in green just so that you can see the difference, but you get to decide. So to get started, these are the, some of the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need some popsicle sticks. Now I have four. If you want to make your apple a little bit narrower, you could use three. If you want to make it wider, you could use more. So you need some popsicle sticks. If you're going to make a red apple, then you're going to need some red paper. If you're going to make a green apple, you're going to need some green paper. It'd really be cute to make a yellow apple as well, so you could use some yellow paper. I have a little bit of green for the leaf and a little bit of brown for the stem. You're going to need a pencil and some scissors and some glue. Oh, and here's my brown here. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is decide what color you want to make your apple. So you decide the color you want. Once you have decided that and you have your paper, you're going to take your popsicle sticks and you're going to decide how wide you want your apple to be. So remember mine was four wide and I'm going to make this one four as well, but you can decide. All I'm going to do is I want to glue these popsicle sticks down on this paper and it doesn't have to be exact. So you can see here, see how my popsicle stick kind of goes over top? That's okay, as long as most of it has some paper there. If your paper's too big, like let's show you on this side. So if I take this, I'm like, oh no, my paper's too big. All you can do, all you have to do is line up your popsicle stick and then just put a little mark up here. And if you want to line up all of them, so if you're using four, line up all four. If you're using more, you can do that if you're using less, and then just draw a line here and a line up here, and you're going to cut that out. So that will give you a better indication of what you need. And then once you do that, take that piece of paper, grab your glue, and go ahead and put a bunch of glue on there. I like to put quite a bit of glue so that that these popsicle sticks stick and you just glue them down. So I'm going to glue one. You don't really want the paper to show, so just glue them right over top. Even if you didn't have the right color paper, you could glue any paper under here because you can't really see it. There. And if you have a little bit sticking out there, if that bothers you, you can always trim it. I don't think I'm really going to notice, so I'm just going to leave mine. I think it'll be just fine. And then you just leave those to dry. Now I'm going to make a green apple, so I'm going to take a green piece of paper. You choose whatever color you want for your apple. So if you're going to make a red apple, grab a red piece of paper. I'm going to take my green piece of paper and I'm going to fold it. So I'm folding it over. And with that, I want to draw the top of my apple. So I'm going to draw a curve first. So here we go. I'm going to start on one end and it's like a half a circle. So I'm going to come up here around, 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 and curve to the other side. Now that's as big as I want my apple to be because See how I have it sticking out on either side of my sticks? If your sticks are wider, you're going to want a bigger apple. If your sticks are smaller, you might want a smaller apple. So you're just going to decide. So you're just half a circle, however big you want it. And you go back to the first part and you're just going to curve up and then down. Curve up and down and curve up and down. It's like little teeth marks. Now remember I have it folded because I want two that are exactly the same, congruent, same shape, same size. So then you cut it out. So when you're happy with your apple, top and the bottom of your apple, you just cut them, cut them out here. And here we go. Round and around. Okay, now they're cut out. I'm gonna move this over. And I have the top of my apple and I have the bottom of my apple with little teeth marks. 
So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put a little bit on there and I'm going to glue that one down. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side and I'm going to glue this one down. Now I'm going to grab my brown piece of paper, I'm going to draw my little stem. All I'm going to do is put a straight line, jump over a little bit because I want a fairly thin stem, put a straight line, and then I'm going to curve around and meet those lines, and then I'm going to cut it out. You could have a thicker stem, a th you could have a longer stem. All you want to do is have a stem, and when you're happy with it, you cut out your stem, and you're going to glue it on. So a little bit of glue at the bottom of my stem. I'm going to glue it in behind the top of my apple. I'm actually going to glue mine a little bit sideways, but you could glue yours straight up. Now I only have a little bit of green paper left, so I'm going to use that paper and I'm going to draw my leaf. So to draw a leaf, take my piece of paper. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to turn it over to this side just a little bit easier. I'm going to draw a line, leave a space, draw a line. Then I'm going to go back to my first line. I'm going to curve around to the top. Then I'm going to start at the top and curve around back to this other line. And you can see my leaf is not exactly symmetrical. It's not exactly the same. Yours could be. Once you've decided what you want and drawn it, then you're going to cut it out and glue that on the top of your eye. Now I have my little black piece of paper. I don't even know if I mentioned earlier that we needed black. You certainly don't have to. You could draw your little seeds on there, but I'm just going to fold my piece once. I'm going to fold my piece twice. I'm going to grab my pencil and you're probably not going to be able to see this, so I apologize, but I'm just going to draw, draw a curve on one side and a curve on the other, and that is going to be my seed. I actually might be able to find a white crown to show you better here. So here's a white crown just to show you. Curve on one side, curve on the other. The tiniest little seed, and then I'm gonna cut that out. Now, because I folded my piece of paper a couple times, I'm gonna end up with four seeds. I'm only gonna use three of them, but you could use as many as you want. And then we just glue those on. There it is in green, there it is in red, and you could even do a yellow apple. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids. Remember, be creative and have fun.